Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. My guest at this time is one half of my favorite WWE match of all time, and probably the interview I'm most nervous about today. Bailey, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. What match was that? Brooklyn. Ah, that's what I thought. It has to be Brooklyn, right? It's like, it's like the greatest match ever. He's the best. Have you spoken to her recently? Yeah, yeah, just today. Well, yesterday, I guess. I don't know what time it is back there, but um, just want to say hi. Thank you for cheering for me, and we'll celebrate when I get home. And uh, Speaking of cheering, the UK fans have uh, kind of sort of adopted you, sort of made you like one of our own. And I, well, I'd like to think so. Yeah, I think so. I think our Hey Bailey chants that we used to do for you at the NXT shows, I feel like we, you are one of our own. So uh, how's the, how are the UK reactions for you? Honestly, I wasn't. This is, goes back to 2015, right? Um, I felt so so loved. I've never, you know, that's what I fell in love with wrestling for was that energy and the fan interaction and the fact that like we just give to each other, the performers, the fans. You just give to each other, um, and that was like a crazy feeling. And the fact that it still carries on, like eight years later or whatever, um, they try to adopt that in the states, and it just isn't the same. I feel appreciated i appreciate that guys thank you but let's keep it to a minimum when i'm trying to focus you know like do you guys want me to win or not right? oh, I, oh so are we putting you, are we putting you off just sometimes i mean it's beautiful it's beautiful but, but uh, you heard that don't we we need bailey to win tomorrow so stop knock it off yeah yeah um it's been nearly a whole full year of damage control uh, how does this rank amongst your other years within wwe and in nxt it has been different it has been long our schedules have been crazy we've been on everything you know uh, it's a lot of work but it's very rewarding the fact that i hate that dakota's hurt but she knows we love her she knows we're dedicating this win at money in the bank to her i love that that eos in this match though and that they are two-time women's tag team champions they performed at wrestlemania like that's what i want and there's just more to come with damage control just one last thing before I let you go. There's a, a word I caught in there, which is we're dedicating this win is in you and EO. So, but, 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 but both of you can't win, right? Well, if EO wins, I win. If I win, EO wins. Is, is that how it works? Is, is that the agreement you have? Yeah, you remember Lake Cool? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it worked out so we're well like, for them as well. We're like that, but better. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I am now with one of the scariest people I've ever stood next to in Shayna Baszler. Shayna, how are you today in London? I'm doing all right. You know, I got caf full of caffeine, so I'm, I'm doing okay for now. What's your coffee of choice? This is a mocha, but honestly, I'm more of a cold coffee drinker most of the time. I like just a cold brew, ice black. But this is, I don't know, there's a fancy machine. I just pushed the button that looked familiar. I'm genuinely too terrified to try cold brew. I've been recommended it enough, but I'm too scared to try it. It's, 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 it's usually pretty strong, so. <laughs> well, speaking of strong, um, how have you found you've been tagging with Rondovs? You've done a lot of tagging uh, in your time in WWE. You've won the tag titles before, but now, how's that different doing it with Ronda? Uh, I think it's just a lot. Uh, I mean, Ronda and I have been friends for a decade, so. I think just the chemistry we have, we can have conversations without talking. You know what I mean? We're, we're those type of friends. So I think um, as far as being on the same page, and I think you see it in Rhonda's uh, ring work as well. She's a lot more comfortable in there now that we've um, partnered. And I, I think it's just the ease of how we've gelled together. Because you've done, you've done singles, you won singles titles, you won tag titles. Do you prefer singles or tag wrestling? Ah, it's just two different, it's apples and oranges, you know what I mean? I, I like apples, I like oranges, just depends. We got pretty close to doing the horsewomen, horsewomen match of the, the WWE one, the UFC one. How close were we actually to making that a reality? Well, here's the thing, we, for 10 years, have been an actual team, actual friends, an actual stable, those other four they aren't even friends. They don't even like each other. So that you tell me where the problem was. <laughs> would you like to do like because you know you and Ronda got the tag titles, probably going to still keep those tag titles, right? And like, would you like to do something with Bailey, Charlotte? And if people, if people want to challenge us, we said we want to we want to defend these titles every week, all the time, every brand. So um, you know whoever that happens to be, everybody has limbs to tear off. Uh, it doesn't that's just details to me, but yeah, we we wouldn't turn anything down. Before I let you go, I do have to ask you about Warhammer, uh, and specifically, have you played Bolt Gun? I have played Bolt Gun. I streamed it. It's awesome. Download it. It's great. It's retro. It's great. It's awesome. 
That's my speed of Warhammer, because I was a, an old school, I was a 90s 40k player, but I haven't played in so long. Is that, as, if I was trying to get back into it now, what would be your recommendation for me to try and pick back up? Seriously, I haven't played it for like 20 plus years. 10th edition just released, so I would say if you're wanting to get back in, grab the Leviathan box set, start learning. It's all, it's all, it's good. It's good. It just released, so you're not missing a lot. Either that or I'm going to stick to Blood Bowl. Oh yeah, that's good too. Shana, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Uh, we're joined today by Santos Escobar. How are you today, Sam? I'm great. Thank you so much for the opportunity to have this one-on-one -on -one with you and my WWE universe. Well, I mean, speaking of which, uh, you are a sharply dressed man today. An incredi you think so? Oh, incredibly sharply dressed man. So much what so. Do you guys think? Well, so much so, in fact, actually, as you were coming around, editor Adam, our, our camera up here, said, "Have you seen his shoes?" Do you want to talk us through this incredible shoe setup you've got here? I love them. These are Versace's, by the way. Are they? Do they uh, how do they compare to mine? Well, it's not what you're wearing, it's how you oh, wear Oh, okay. Uh, that's something my mom told me when I was a little kid and I wanted these specific shoes that I couldn't get. Uh, so I had these other shoes and she told me, son, the sooner you learn this, the better. It's not what you wear, it's how you wear it. And ever since, that's, it's how I word things. So can you apply that to money in the bank? It's not how you hold the briefcase, it's what you're gonna do with it? Precisely, I love, I love, the, I love the, the logical metaphor that you created there because I was just saying before that London is a city I love. It's a city that begs to be walked. I haven't had time to do it, but tomorrow night and through the night, you will see a man walking through London with a briefcase. He's going to be a, a sharp, well-dressed man. <laughs> and that'll be me. Not LA9. Of course not. He, the, the man's got no style. Come on. <laughs> I, I know it's, it's not what you were, but how you were it. But that man, he just... Don't get me going. I mean, to be honest, this is one last thing. I've got my one question for you now. Don't jump on that train, okay? <laughs> It's my last question for you now. Uh, I am a man of a certain vintage. I'm trying to dress more of my own style. I'm trying to dress, I'm a father now. I'm trying to dress more appropriately. I'm trying to dress like I'm 14 years old. Am I wearing this correctly? Is this how I'm wearing it? I will tell you this. You are unique. You are unique. And, and what I'm saying, what I'm going with this is like, sometimes you want to dress like so or so. Because everyone tells us, hey, don't dress like a 14 year old. I would say, keep doing what you do and be proud of what you do. And guess what? If you do that, you will be LWO because that's what we do. We're proud of who we are and we're proud of, you know, what we represent. Do you hear that, Mum? It's okay for me to dress like a 14 year old. Respectfully, of course. Respectfully, of course. Thank I love you, Mum. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, man, Pleasure so much. Thank you. And my guest at this time, Selena Vega. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much. No one ever asked me how I am. So. Yeah, no one. So thank you so much for asking me. It's very kind of you. How are you enjoying your time in London so far? Good. I, I just got here yesterday, but I got to see a good friend of mine yesterday, um, Elam, and I haven't seen him and his girl in a while, so it's uh, cool I got to catch up with them. I was reading earlier, actually, that apparently you became very good friends with AJ Lee after fighting with my family. Uh, would you like to see AJ back at some point? I would love to see AJ back. I would love to have that Spider-Man moment of like, oh, oh. <laughs> but <laughs> it's, uh, it's, she, I mean, my gosh. <laughs> It's funny to have somebody else from the Northeast to be able to say like, wow, she made it. Like she was the blueprint for a while. Like she was that girl. So it's cool to, number one, to even have that opportunity to play her in the movie. So it's, I mean, my gosh. I, I probably listened to her voice for so many hours and hours to make sure I can get the pitch and everything right. That uh, when I told Punk that he was just like, you probably listened to her more than I have. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Uh, you've recently like gone so much into the babyface role now. You're like, how has that been for you? Are you enjoying it? I'm enjoying it, yes, but I was so not expecting it because I am like so far from like a natural good guy that it's just like crazy. So just so 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 different for me, yeah. That seems so. You seem so likable. Like surely you're a great babyface. I don't know. I I don't like humans. I like cats. <laughs> so, but I think that's what makes it cool. Is like. There's a bunch of other people who don't like humans either, and they like cats, so we just kind of jump into that, you know? Uh, how was it? Puerto Rico? This must have been an incredible experience. Like, I know you must be asked this a lot, but like, surely it's a great time to relive, right? It, it really is, and I love it. I, anytime I get, like, it gets brought up, I get really happy about it, because it's such a, 
cherished moment. It's, that was my WrestleMania, you know, like that was it. One final question before you head off. Uh, have you been watching any Money in the Bank to prepare yourself? Do you have a favorite Money in the Bank match? So I don't have a favorite, but I have little people that like, certain things I watch from certain people. Like I've been watching a lot of Jeff Hardy stuff because I'm like, if you're gonna do it, you gotta overdo it. So, you know, we're gonna delve into the craziness. So you think crazy, you think him, you think like Rey Mysterio and just being able to, to have that wow moment. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Thank you so much for joining us there. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah.